Hi guys, so I already have my eyebrows and my eye primer done, which is basically concealer and powder. And um, this tutorial is featuring the amazing Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can definitely guess I am in complete love with this. It's beautiful. So um, using the shade Buon Fresco, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm just gonna apply it as a transition shade to my eyes so um, all of the eyeshadows I'm gonna put on top are gonna blend way softer. Water break. Next, I'm going to take the shades Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange to really warm up the transition a little, like a little bit because it was a little more on the cool slash neutral side with the purple shade. Now, using one of my favorite shades in the palette, Red Ochre, I am going to start building the kind of halo look I am going to do today. So I'm going to pack it a little on my outer corner, blend it through my crease, and then I'm going to eventually blend it more and put a little bit in my inner corners so I can really create this kind of halo effect. Next, using the shade Love Letter, I am basically going to be doing the same thing. This is going to add a very nice pinky, purplish, berry toned hue to the look. Now using the shade Cypress Umber, it's a very pigmented and very dark brown. Um, I'm just going to put it on my very outer and very inner corners to really deepen up the look. Now with the shade Primavera, which is a light gold, I'm going to pop it in the center of my lid to create the halo effect. And off camera, I'm going to apply my lashes, which they're still drying. And using my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer, I'm going to prime my entire face. Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in the shade 305 and I'm going to apply it all over my face which I know that on camera it kind of looks light but I swear to you in like person it actually matched me which is kind of weird because orange foundations on camera look to be my shade and this that is actually my shade doesn't look my shade but you know we'll work with it. Now using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium, I'm going to highlight my face and then I'm going to go to my under eye and I'm going to blend it all out. So center of the forehead, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, chin and around my mouth a little bit to like eliminate the darkness and then under my eyes. Still looking up, I'm going to apply my NYC Loose Translucent Powder under my eyes so I can set my concealer and then I'm going to put some a little bit of my nose because I get really really shiny and oily on my nose and I don't want that to happen as quickly so I'm just going to set the rest of my face now. So I blend away with my brush all the powder under my eyes and I use the excess powder to set a little bit around my face. Now with my Maybelline Better Skin foundation powder kind of. I'm just going to go all over the um, outer 
perimeters kind of <laughs> of my face so I give them like a little more coverage and so they set and like don't move all day. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills double-ended brush that comes with a palette, I'm just going to take all of the crease shades and apply them to my lower lash line to create a same very like smoky effect. And um, now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and so I can mesh the fake eyelashes and my real eyelashes together. I'm going to apply some lashes on my bottom lashes and then on my top lashes to really mesh my natural and my fake lashes together. Next, using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, I'm just going to warm up my face, bronze up my skin a little bit. And I know it doesn't show a lot on camera, but again, it did show up on person. So um, yeah, that's it. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. blush palette in the shade Light, and I'm taking that corner shade right here. And I'm going to apply it not exactly on the apples of my cheek, but just a little behind to really give myself a very sophisticated look. Using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal, I'm using this fan brush to apply it on my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, the top of my brow, and you know, all those highlight points. Finally, for my lips, I'll be using the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Soft Berry. And I am going to top it all off with the Maybelline Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss in the shade Life's a Peach. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I personally love how it came out. And so yeah, so <laughs> if you want, you can like this video, comment. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I will have all the links down below. Also, if you like me, my personality, or the content I upload on YouTube, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. I am really pumping it up with videos this summer. So I hope you guys really enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.